This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I'm about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, every living seed of the word of God. I will never be the same. Never, never, never. Amen. Okay, guys, this is the Dali family. And my name is Javé. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the sixth grade. And I'm about to be reading. I'm about to be reading the books of the Bible. And I'm going to continuously be reading the Holy Bible. And today I'm going to be reading. Um. I'm going to be reading Luke. And I'm going to be reading to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to be reading to page 16. So, I'm going to be, take that back. I'm going to be reading this page and the, the back of the second page in this page. Okay, let's get started. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the Priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Arion. Arion. Both of them were righteousness in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commands and decrees blame, blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and there, there, they were both very old. Once, when Zacharias' division was on duty, and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priest to go into the temple of the Lord and burn in sins. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all the assembled worshipers, worshipers were praying outside. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar in sins. Of Zechariah saw him. He was started. He was startled, and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, "Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayers have been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you, bear you a son, and you are to call. You are to call him John. He will be a joy of delight to you." And many and many will rejoice because of, because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other firmament drink. He will be and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord. To the Lord their God, and He will go on before the Lord in the spirit of power of Elijah to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the the wisdom of righteousness to make ready a people to make ready a people prepare for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, 
How can I be sure of this? I am a I am an old man and my wife well is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. The angel said to him, Okay. I stand in the presence of the God, and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until this until the day this happened because you did not believe my words which will come true at the appointed time meanwhile the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple when he came out he could not speak to them they realized he had seen a vision in the temple he kept making signs to them remain unable to speak. When his time of when his time of service was completed, he returned home after this. His wife Elizabeth became pregnant for five months, remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me. He she said, and these days he has shown he has shown his favor in taking away my disgrace among the people. In the sixth month, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town of Galilee, to a virgin pledge to be married to a man named Joseph. A descendant, a descendant of David. The virgin name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, "Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you." Mary was greatly troubled at troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, "Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be." Con sin and give birth to a son you are to call him jesus he will be great and wild and will be called the son of the most high the lord will give him the throne of his father david and he region over jacob's descendants forever his kingdom will never end how will this be mary asked the angel since i'm a virgin the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on to you, the come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will never fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. Mary, your word to be to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. At that time, at that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary greeting, the baby leaped in her room, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and a loud voice exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed the child you will bear. bear. Why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promise to her. Okay, guys. That's all I'm going to be reading That was today. what? That was the book of Luke. And that's all I'm going to be reading for today. My name is John Vey. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the 6th grade. And I would like to tell people about God and how much stuff he do for people. And that you should always obey God 
and whatever God telling you something, he's giving you a sign of something, that means like God will be giving you a sign and whatever God tell you is true. Like whatever you say. It says, for no word from God will never fail. So, words from God, that will never fail. So, like, if he tell you something, you will never fail. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell. And make sure y'all um, read the book of, read books of the Bible and read the Holy Bible. And so are you going to continue with reading the Bible? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to start a series of the Holy Bible and start a series of the Book of Bible. Right now, I'm going to be doing the Luke. I'm going to try to, try to finish the Book of Luke before 2020. Okay. Um. I think I can do that. Why are you, why are you doing it on YouTube? I want to do it on YouTube to show other kids that watch this YouTube channel. I want to show other kids that God is with you every time you go. And he sent angels to show signs to you, like, what you're going to be doing and stuff. And I want kids to understand that God is good all the time. Go. And also, I'm going to be doing this to give back to the community, to give money, to raise up money to give back to the community for to, and to make centers for children to come learn about God and give out daily scriptures for people can follow God's command. And more that people follow God will stop most of the violence and it will stop less violence that people that learn about God and be on God's commands, the less the violence will be. And I want people to know that y'all say stop all the violence, but y'all have to go with God's commands and follow his path so it can stop the violence. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe once again, and hit that little bell. And I'll be back with the next section of Luke. Thank y'all for watching my videos. And I will be back with more testimonies. And then I will be more back with inspire you guys to read the Bible and read the Holy Bible and read books of the Bible. See you guys later.